Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. If you're new, please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you can get notified whenever another video is released on this channel. If you wanna check out more hood tours, visit my Philadelphia Hoods playlist with over 200 plus tours covering all different neighborhoods in Philadelphia, PA. Okay, guys, right now we are in the Winfield section of Philadelphia, located in West Philadelphia. Winfield is bordered by 53rd Street at the south, Fairmount at the east, City Avenue to the north, and the Amtrak mainline tracks to the west. I'm doing this specific tour right here for a viewer of mine. She is a supporter and a viewer. Not only has she been a part of all of the live stream chats and she makes sure to show support, but she's also made a few donations despite me telling her not to. Thank you very much, ma'am. I really appreciate it. I'm humbled by your support. And the least that I can do is take you by your old childhood neighborhood residence. So I don't know exactly where you live. I know you provided a few addresses. So we're gonna do our best just to zigzag through this neighborhood so you can take a look at your old stomping grounds. Right off the, the back, it looks like a beautiful neighborhood. If it was a beautiful neighborhood back then when you were here, well, guess what, ma'am? It is still a beautiful neighborhood. <laughs> We're on 58th Street and Woodbine Avenue, crossing over to the 5800 block of Woodbine. You look to my left, you look to my right, you have beautiful suburban looking homes, huge front lawns. Ooh, I see a nice Cadillac on my left hand side. Cadillac. Ooh, that boy was nice. It was like a 1988, 89 Cadillac sedan. Looked it beautiful. I'm not sure if it was the DeVille or the town car, but it looked it fabulous. All right, as you can see, they have huge lawns, enormous lawns for the most part. I mean, not a mansion size lawn, but compared to the lawns that's in, you know, the North Philly section or South Philly section, like these lawns are big. On my right hand side, we got the laboratory charter school. Welcome to our national something, something, something. I couldn't read it. I have some traffic behind me, so I got to keep it at a steady pace. But these homes are nice. They're like single town homes. Some of them have cobblestone fronts. Some of them um, have brick fronts. Some of them have uh, stucco fronts. Yeah, they look pretty nice. Don't look bad at all. It's the winter time here. So you're not gonna see many people outdoors. I will make that note in case anybody's watching this, wondering where are the people at. All right, we are now passing Upland Way, Mobine, it will be Woodbine Ave and Upland Way. So we have the Amtrak trails here. So I'm assuming this is where the borderline cuts off at. We're at 62nd Street, just past 62nd Street, and now we're at 63rd Street. I'm gonna make this left. Matter of fact, I'm gonna stay right here so she can see Lady of Our Lord's Catholic Church on my right hand side. This is the church that she's mentioned on several occasions. It was founded in 1894. I'm gonna go around just so that she can get a good view at this little area here. I believe she lived here when she was a little schoolgirl. I think she mentioned something like six, seven, eight years old was when she was last in this neighborhood. So I do wanna, you know, take you down memory lane because I know it might be important to you at this point of your life, you know. I think she said she lives in New Mexico, right? Or like close to Mexico, something of that nature check it out ma'am but this neighborhood is pretty nice it's not too shabby garage i got a garage on my left everybody got private parking private driveways huge trees drexel road on my left hand side i'm gonna go around the block so that she can see a uh, lady of our lord's church we got the lancaster apartments on my right let's make this right on my on sherwood road on my left hand side we got the overbrook apartments so I'm gonna make this right. We got a two lane street. And look at these homes. This is in Philadelphia, PA, guys. This is not too shabby, not too shabby at all. This is located probably like 20 minutes away from the heart of Center City, Philadelphia. I actually punched this address in when I was located right next to City Hall and it said 22 minutes away from City Hall. So if it, this is 22 minutes, we're on 63rd Street, ladies and gentlemen. If this is 22 minutes away from City Hall, we have the 65 bus next to us. That means that this is probably about the same from like North Philly, from Kensington. This is probably like 20, 25 minutes away from, from North Philly. It's probably like 25 minutes away from Kensington. 
I know a lot of people, the reason why I mentioned Kensington is because a lot of people like to use that as a reference. On my left-hand side, we got an Italian kitchen. Uh, it's a pizzeria. We got a couple of businesses on my left and we got Lady of Our Lords on the right. I'm, I'm gonna pull up right here. I'm gonna pull up on the sidewalk so she can get a good look. Check it out. I just broke the law for you, man. <laughs> I just pulled up right on the sidewalk, but I just wanted, wanted you to get a good look. You know what I mean? Get a good look, because we got cars behind us flying. I'm sure when you were a youngster in this neighborhood, the car speed limits were probably like more like 80, 90 miles per hour max speed <laughs> back in the day. Now everybody's odometer reads 120 and above. They made uh, early daycare center right here on my left hand side we got star fusion on my left hand side we got another pasture bedtime care center on my left hand side and here we go we have ladies of lords catholic church on my right i'm gonna stop right here i'm gonna allow since we're in a stick shift car i'm gonna leave it in neutral and i'm gonna allow it to roll back it's really sunny so i think the sun kind of tampers with the viewing experience Sorry that my windshield isn't the cleanest. If I clean it, the next day you wake up with just particle dust and debris and drizzles and all that stuff. So it's kind of tough, but we're on Woodbine 63rd and Woodbine Ave. I'm gonna travel forward and then we're gonna zigzag through the neighborhood. See if we can go down memory lane. As always, if anybody else has stories, knowledge, information you want to share about the community, feel free to comment in the comment section. That's why I leave the comment section open. We have Ad Prima Charter School on my right. We're making a left on Lancaster Ad. We have engine number 54, a fire department on my right hand side. If you guys haven't seen that fire department video, ooh, we got Green Hill. Uh, it looks like it says what? English de Dieu Church of God. So that looked like it could have been a theater back in the day, right? Right, Leisure? That was probably like a theater where you and your girlfriends and, 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 and your, your male buddies used to go and watch a flick, right? How much did movies cost back in the day? Was it like two, two bucks for like a ticket or something? Three bucks? I don't know. Help me here. All right, guys, so we're going to go up probably... We're on Lancaster Ave. So to be honest, I think in order to... So... Lancaster Ave looks like it takes us back to because if we go up a couple more blocks, I know exactly where we're at. If we drive straight down Lancaster and cross over to Gerard, we'll see the Will Smith mural. But that's not where we're focused on today. We're focused on the Winfield neighborhood. So that we're crossing 62nd and Malvern Ave. Passing, we're passing 60 Street, 62nd Street now. Um, we got S and M Food. Seafood produce on my right. They have fruits, vegetables, and all that. We got a U-Haul self storage on my left. Overbrook Art Center on my right. Hunan Palace on my right. KFC on my right. 61st Street. Yeah, I think I'm going to cross back over because I have a good feeling that we are no longer in the Winfield neighborhood. We have a closed Domino's on my left. So I'm going to let me see. Let me make this right. And then I'm gonna work my way back to Lancaster Ave so we can go zigzag through that first neighborhood that we were at. Cause as you can see here, it starts getting to more traditional row homes like in Junietta or like different parts of like West, South. You know, a lot of the areas in Philly have houses like this. Look at, these are more familiar, tightly packed row homes. You know what I mean? These are traditional for Philadelphia. The first neighborhood we started at appeared to be a more prominent neighborhood, meaning that if that's the neighborhood Leisure grew up in, you grew up in a pretty nice neighborhood, man. Really, really nice neighborhood. Gee golly. <laughs> We're on Clifford Trail, the 6,000 block of Clifford. Like the houses in front of us even look a little bit more cooler than the row homes. They're paired in twos. They have lawns, they have A tops, They're, they have uh, nice stonework, brick pointing and whatnot. They look nice and you don't got to share a whole connected block of people. It's only two homes per you know, slap. We're passing Hazelhurst Street. We're at Lebanon Avenue, 61st and Lebanon Avenue. I'm gonna go straight right here. They're doing some work on my left. If not, I would've went left, but they're doing some tree cutting and they're blocking off the road. 
Lancaster Avenue. I'm gonna make this left hand turn. I gotta approach with caution because this is kind of like a high traffic road. All right, still got a bunch of traffic, bunch of traffic coming. One more vehicular device and we are on our way. Make this left right here on Lancaster Avenue. So y'all remember we had the KFC on my left, now we're the opposite way. We got DJL Laundromat on my left. We got the U-Haul on my right. Arts Center, they have classes, crafts, and exhibits. That's pretty cool. Foreign and Domestic United Auto Repair on my right. Lunch meat and stuff on my left-hand side. We got 62nd and Malvern. I'm gonna make this right down 62nd. Right here, is, is this a two-way? Yeah, it's a two-way, there's a stop sign up there. We have what looks to be like a little industrial electrical site here. I don't know what they do there. I know it looks like a bunch of conductor thingy majiggies. On my left, we have some small homes here. We have like some two-story row homes here. Pretty cool. They have porches and all that stuff. Woodbine collision repair on my right. Wow, pretty cool classic car on my right, guys. Wow, that thing was nice. All right, we're on Woodbine. I'm gonna make this right by Woodbine. The reason why I wanted to turn sooner was because I remember the, the perimeter said something about the Amtrak rails is what's the border. So if this is the Amtrak rails above us, then that means, boom, now we're back in the Winfield neighborhood. So now we're back in the neighborhood. The sidewalks look nice, nice sidewalks. Let's start zigzagging here. I'm gonna make this left here. Making this left on Upland Way just so that you guys can get a feel of the environment. Check it out. I actually remember those apartments up top there. There's some apartments on, on, on the top of the screen. I think my buddy, uh, Cam, he's an R&B singer. I shot a music video for him. I think his folks live on that half. And also, uh, G's. Gio, Gio Vinci, geez, one of one John's homies. All right, we're gonna make this right here on Drexel Road. Okay, buddy, feel free to beep. You can fly over me. We're doing this for leisure. Everybody, thumbs up for leisure. Leisure. <laughs> I don't know her real name, but you know that's her. Her her screen name is Leisure. So you know, trying to show some support to those who show steady support to the channel. I greatly appreciate everyone's support. Look at these homes, guys. The homes are on my right. It reminds me of, like the Goosebumps movie. If you ever seen the new rendition of Goosebumps, you know, part one and part two, the new ones, the ones that just came out in the late 2000s. This reminds me of like one of those blocks from, from that film when they all go out trick-or-treating and, and everything. And you know, the guy who plays R.L. Stein, I think his name is Jack, uh, Jack, Jack, Jack. I can't think of his last name and his first name is Jack. Anyway, yeah. This reminds me of one of them blocks. We're on 59th and Drexel Road. This house on my left-hand side is huge. Wow. The one on my left-hand side is pretty, pretty huge. Even the property around it, it's like, is it a hot? Hold on, let me drive a little sooner before I assume it, if that's a residence. We're passing 59th Street. We're on Drexel Road. Wow, these houses on my left are ginormous compared to everything else in the city. Wow. Oh, it has, uh, I think, a Jewish star. It says Beth Tovim. So that might be a religious building. I don't know. Feel free to help me out here, guys. But these houses are kind of big. The front gates, the front entrances. And they're not big in the scale of, like, all the houses in the world. Of course, there's bigger houses in the world. But for Philadelphia, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm about to do something just for you guys, the viewers of the World Wide Web. Check this out. I'm just gonna point the camera right here by pointing my vehicle at this property so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Look how big that property is. They even got a side driveway with a garage. Wow, pretty cool. I just did that so you guys can see. Now, I know if they have like a ring doorbell camera and they probably, you know, saw me re reverse. Oh, I saw a can of beer on the side of the road, 211. Now that's bum juice. That's like one of the most kick butt beers that'll leave you on your booty. Like that, that beer right there have you slumped. It's cheap too. And it was thrown on the side of the road. So somebody around here has an alcoholic habit. 
Yo, these houses are pretty big, though. I don't know. Something tells me that those big buildings right there that we just passed that block is probably something related to religious institutions. Somebody over there got the little teeny weeny cute hatchback uh, BMW with jersey plates. Oh, and, and a Mercedes. Wow. Not the fact that it's a, it's, it's a BMW and it's a Mercedes, but the fact that they're from Jersey and they're in these driveways. All right, we're on 58th Street. We're going to cross over 58th Street. Everybody's lawns are pretty well groomed. Now, this block right here appears to be like a Junietta style neighborhood. Not even like a Junietta style neighborhood because I don't even think Junietta got homes like this. But I know, like, for example, like Germantown, East Germantown had a couple homes that were like this. The East Germantown neighborhood. Once you crossed over um, one of the avenues, I can't think of the avenue off my head, but they did have homes like this. So, yeah, cobblestone. A tops, shingles up top. It got like two stairways. You got one stairway, and then you gotta walk through a path, and then another stairway. And I'm all right. They don't have the two stairways. They only have one stairway, and it's like a flat entrance. We have a female here that just came shopping from Target. We're on 57th and Drexel Road. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn on 57th Street. Bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just exploring here. I don't have any set point of destination. I'm just driving. I'm gonna make this left here. On Winfield Ave. Let's make this left. Winfield Ave. We got Samuel or Samuel, because you can say it in Spanish, Samuel Gumpers Public School on my right hand side. We got this EF Civic on my left hand side. Wow, it looked at original. Original is all stock. I want it. Somebody buy it for me. Mail it to me, please. Nah, <laughs> I already got one. But I like the fact that that's all stock and not pimped out. Mine's is like modified to an extent. All right, guys. So we are at Cardinal Ave, Winfield Ave on, behind me. And then it turns over to Overbrook Ave on my left. So let's go through Overbrook first. And then we'll probably come back around and do Cardinal. So check this out. On my left, we got two-story homes, A-tops, poison ivy removal signs on their front lawns. They put the little pickets. I don't like those little pickets. Those are like the little pickets where they try to promote during, you know, when they want everybody to, you know, get into the booths and make their, their, their opinion heard. I don't like those little picket things. I think they like the face of community, especially when they go and put a whole bunch of them everywhere. We just passed 58th Street, but still, guys, the neighborhood is still relatively quiet. A simple Google will let you know that this is one of the safest neighborhoods in Philadelphia. The dirty little secret that this is a safe neighborhood for the most part. At least this spot is. It seems to be. Passing Overbrook Avenue Gospel Hall. It looks to be a church on my left-hand side. On my right-hand side, we got some pretty nice residential homes, guys. Pretty nice residential homes. If you blunt your eye and squint in your head and turn your head sideways, you would think this is not Philadelphia. You know, if I didn't tell you it was Philly and I said we're in like a township in Jersey, you guys probably would have never, you know, you would have agreed. You'd have been like, yep, he's in a township in Jersey or somewhere or in PA or something. But this is Philly. We're on 59th Street. 59th Street is also known as W. Wilson Good Senior Way. 59th and Overbrook Ave. So should I go left from 59th? Should I go straight? I'm going to go straight. So you guys can continue seeing these homes. These homes are, are you know, quite large. What makes them large, too, is, is the property boundary. Look at this property's gate. Look at, look at the, look how long this gate is. Look at This is straight privacy. Look at This is their driveway right here. This is the entrance. There goes the address, 5921. And they got to get out and unlock it. I'm surprised they don't have a motorized gate. That's one thing that I'm surprised about that. You know, as high profile the house looks, they didn't invest in a motorized gate, you know, to open it up. But look, look how long their property line is. This gate is all to that one property. And it's a high gate. It's like 12 feet. They playing no games. Then the next house isn't gated. So those people right there are probably concerned for their safety. <laughs> they probably watched a lot of zombie movies and said, listen, look at this one on my left. They parked on their own lawn. I guess it's your lawn, so you can do whatever you want, right? Like, it's your lawn. Like, who's going to tell you what to do with your own lawn? We're at Upland Way and Overbrook Ave. 
So I can go left or I can follow Overbrook Ave. I'm gonna go left, just for the purpose of staying in the Winfield neighborhood. This house on my left is boarded up. Surprisingly, it's boarded, guys. And it's a huge castle-like looking miniature property. I'm calling it miniature, because I say huge, huge, huge. Somebody out there's gonna go tune. This isn't even huge. You wanna see huge? Come to my hood. No, 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 no. I mean, it's, <laughs> we, right, we, we got this clear. It, it, ain't, it ain't a mansion. We ain't not in the Hollywood Hills. But compared to Philly, man, like you go to some of them little teeny weeny blocks in Philly, these things is damn near the size of five, six, seven row homes, if not more. We're on Upland Way and Drexel Road. All right, Upland Way and Drexel Road. I'm gonna make this right. Let's go up here. Make this right, what's this? Drexel Road. Look at like we got a tall apartment building on my right hand side. On my left hand side, we got the houses in pairs. Remember they're paired up in twos. They got porches, closed porches, or what could be called a patio, right? Ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was horrible. I burped. My bad. That's now forever frozen in history. Darn it. <laughs> I was trying so hard not to burp too. All right, we got the Overbrook uh, train station on my left-hand side. Oh, we're at City Ave. So City Ave is the border. So we're gonna make this right. Remember we talked about the perimeter? We're gonna make this right. We're not gonna pass City Ave because if we pass City Ave, then boom, we're no longer in the neighborhood that we wanna be in. All right, we're passing Premier City Line. That's the apartments. O o Overbrook Ave, I'm gonna make this right on Overbrook Ave. On my left, we got St. Joseph's University on my left-hand side. back at Upland and Overbrook. So I'm gonna make this right, because we just saw that abandoned house, that was the one right there in front of us on the corner. I said it was pretty big, but it was all board, boarded up. I don't know if the owners left, did the owners not pay taxes? Did, did, why would a house in this neighborhood that huge be boarded up and vacant? It didn't look well kept either. The one in front of us too, right there in front of us, there's a big house over there that got an orange, looks like a zoning code sticker on the door, on the front door. Y'all can't see it, but I'm describing it for y'all. There's a giant orange zoning sticker all over there. All right, we just turned down Drexel Drive. Did we go up this street? I don't know, but if we did, my bad. I don't think so, because I see one side of parking. Now, as you can see, everybody got their own driveways on this block. Yeah, I think we did go down this side because I remember the purple. Um, they're on this this house on my left has purple pillars holding up their their awning, so I do remember that. But yeah, as you can see, most of these people have their own driveways. Yeah, we did go here because I remember the big giant house on my left hand side. All right, so we're gonna go right. I'm gonna make this right on 59th Street. Let's make this right. On my right hand side, what do we have here? Oh, this is that first church that I passed by. It got some, some what is it, scribble on it? Oh, that's chalk. All right, at first I thought they had graffiti on it. It's, I guess some kids use chalk to write on the church. The Laboratory Charter School, welcome to our National Blue Ribbon School. Made in 1953. So I'm pretty sure that Miss Leisure probably remembers that building. We're on 59th and Woodbine. We're gonna keep on going straight. We're gonna zigzag through here now. Okay, sir, you wanna give us an opportunity? Thank you very much, appreciate it. All right, we have some small houses on my left. It seems like the off blocks have small houses. Now we're on Woodcrest, Woodcrest Ave. Now Woodcrest Ave seems to have traditional row style homes. Let me make this right here, yeah, because on my left they look traditional. And on my right, yeah, they're, they're almost traditional. They're halfway traditional because they got the cobblestone, the long porches and everything. But the block behind me, look, they're really traditional. 
like most Philadelphia um, areas. Not most, but a good per percentage. On my left, we got a what looks to be like a school building. I don't know the name of that school yet, but if you want, you can feel free to name that school. I like these tours to be interactive, so you guys are more than welcome to you know comment, help me out here. Let's make this left on Graham Street. Let's make this left here. We're going around this school building. The street is freshly paved. For sale on my right-hand side, C. Joseph Dara. Yeah, Keller Williams Real Estate. New home in this neighborhood. In case anybody's interested in moving to this little community. Google says that it's, you know, a safe, quiet community to live in. But, I mean, local residents, if you live here now or have ever lived here, you could chime in and share your two cents. Your two cents are greatly appreciated. <laughs> You know, if everybody gave me two cents, if 50 people gave me two cents, then I have a dollar. So, I mean, every penny counts. All right. Or did I do my mathematics wrong? Dun, dun, dun. dun in it. No, two times 50 is 100, right? <laughs> All right, we're at Greyhound Street and Malvern Ave. I'm going to make this left on Malvern Ave, the 5900 block of Malvern Ave. We got some basketball courts right there. We got a gazebo in the yard. Um, dog, what is it? Dog proud, say it out loud. There, there was a, a sign. Look at the apex on this house on my right. Look at the strong triangular shape. You see it on my right-hand side? Then on my left-hand side, we still have that school building. We have the 2100 block of Redfield Street. And that school is Dimner Bieber Junior High School. Dimner. That green charger on my right olive green that was the color of my hatchback civic before i painted it it had a masonic uh lodge graphic sticker on the left hand side of the rear window all right so let's go straight one more block we're at 59th and malvern ave now these homes it, it, first of all the street's freshly paved i can tell it's freshly paved because they're actually still laying down the lines on the ground that you spray paint to tap them down because I guess they're going to come and put the real line soon. We're passing Melvin Street. This looks like, you know, looks like, like an area in Southwest. Has an area that looks like this, or like around Dick's Ave. Uh, passing Hobart Street. We're passing Wanamaker Street. Malvern and Wanamaker. I want to make her thumbs up, but I can't make her. So, you know, if, if, if you can make a thumbs up, do it for me because I want to make her, but she ain't trying to thumbs up <laughs> or he ain't trying to thumbs up. Uh, we're at 58th and Malvern Ave. We got Shirley boys and Micah breakfast and lunch on my left hand side. Now we're getting back to some of the more traditional area looking homes on the left. They all got stonework on the front of the houses on the right. They got regular brickwork. We're at 57th and Malvern. I think we gotta go up to like 53rd Street because I think 53rd Street is one of the perimeters. I believe that's what I said in the beginning. But if I make a mistake here, guys, please bear with me. I'm exploring. I'm exploring with you guys. I'll be quite honest with you. Like, it's not like I hung out in this neighborhood. I did drive through here on occasions because I know Lancaster Ave and I know like Overbrook and I know all those areas, but it was never like for me just to jump out of the car, park up and go knock on somebody's door and visit. It was never any of that. So I'm taking in the environment with you guys. We are now on Gainer Road. Malvern Road turned to Gainer Road. So we're now on Gainer Road. Go ahead, drive by me, sir. Feel free. Fabulous, Mr. Uber Dude. Let's call him Mr. Uber Dude. We got some Florida tags on my right. Mr. Uber Dude. We got another set of Florida tags on my right. Then we're gonna say it again. Mr. Uber Dude. <laughs> There's a house for sale on my left. We're at 56th Street. 56th Street and Gainer. Now, this home on my left-hand side, I'm gonna let the stick shift roll back. So you got the stonework and all of that stuff. The home on my right got stonework. All right, beep, beep. I, I see you guys a long time ago. Um, we got this car on my right-hand side that's wrapped in like gold vinyl. I'm, I believe that's wrapping because I don't think anybody would ruin their car with with gold paint but yeah that was like gold vinyl work my buddy shout out to v tenant he moved from albany new york to north carolina he is really good at wrapping vehicles so if you're in north carolina watching this you better go 
go on Instagram and go try to find V Tinted. V Tinted tints cars and all that stuff. And he also wraps and paints, does custom paint jobs and all that cool stuff. All right, so check it out, check it out, check it out now. Check it. Check it, check it out now. On my left-hand side, we got Winfield Baptist Church. All right, so I guess those two, three blocks were like the really prominent areas. Whoa, guess what, guys? They ruined the architectural consistency and uniformity of this neighborhood. What do we see on my left-hand side that stick out like sore thumbs? I can't believe it. I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> no, seriously, we're on George's Lane. And look, I'm gonna drive slowly. What do we see on my left? I'm here crossing my arms, not even holding the steering wheel. What do we see? We see some row looking brand new, what is this, homes? It might be a home or it's an apartment. It might be a home because it got a driveway and it got one entrance. It doesn't have multiple. Whoa. So somebody invested here, they, they ended up buying the slots that were here, and they built row homes in this neighborhood. It looks so tacky. I mean, they're probably nice, you know, cube homes, but why Why did it be complicated? Why couldn't they just build another, like, you know, townhome style thing to follow everybody's structure? I guess they want it to be different. But I'm really sad. I'm appalled. I'm dismayed to see how they say, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I got a dictionary next to me and low key, I just be reading out every single word from the dictionary. No, no, I don't. I don't really have a dictionary, but it's in my head. So let's make this left right here. We're at 53rd Street, 53rd and Gainer Road. I, I'm not happy with, with that. I don't even live here and I'm not happy seeing that. Yeah, that must be home. They got a whole long. I mean, I guess nobody can tell anybody what to do with, with their property. So at the end of the day, if they wanted to buy one of these old homes, knock it down and build whatever they want, hey, it's up to them. But on the same note, why did city zoning not like say, hey guys, you're going against like what the neighborhood looks like. It looked like they took a North Philly or like a Northern Liberties home. Perfect example. Or like an East Kensington home where all the gentrification is happening. It looked like they took an East Kensington home, picked it up, a ferry, flew it over here, and they dropped it in the Winfield neighborhood. Because you keep driving around the neighborhood, you don't see anything else that look, look like those two cube boxes. Cube. C-U-B-E. Cube. Cube boxes. Yeah. Sounded like I said cute boxes. We're on 53rd and Winfield. In front of us, we have Fairview Arms Apartments. On my left-hand side, we have Jameson School of Ministry and Christian Academy Family Worship Center Sunday. What? Sunday? What's it say? Team? Team? Beam? Beam? Scheme? What does it say? Sunday. I want to go straight. I'm gonna go straight. Sunday. Oh, 11 a.m. <laughs> I said team, scheme, beam, lean. And I said 11 a.m. I'm sorry, my eyeballs was a little foggy. <sighs> Gotta shine my eyeballs. All right, on my left, we got a garage. On my right, cobblestone homes. On my left, for sale. Boom, for sale. What's up, y'all? Now, starting off at $1, $1, $1, $1. Do I have two? $2, $2. All right, we're back at 53rd and Woodbine Ave. Check it out. Not a bad little area, I might say so myself. Let's make this left here. Make this left right here. Where are we on? Woodbine? Yeah, we're on Woodbine. We were just on 53rd Street. All right, so check it out, lawns. So we have a wide variety of houses in the Winfield neighborhood. We have like tra traditional row home ones that are stuck together. We have them paired in twos. Then we have like suburban townhomes paired in twos. Then we have like some super huge sub suburban townhome style thingy majiggies. Let's make this right on 54th Street. We just turned off of Woodbine Ave. Now we're on 54th Street. On my right hand side, we got State Senator Vincent Hughes, seventh senatorial district, putting people first. Visit www.senatorhughes.com. <laughs> Yo, he ain't, he ain't pay me for that plug. Yo, reverse, reverse, crisscross. No, seriously, he ain't paying me for that plug and I just gave him a free sponsorship. Nah, I'm kidding. I'd kill you. Yo, check this out. Look, look yo, the I kill you comes from Jeff Dunham, the puppet. Come on, y'all, don't be taking that serious. That's just a little puppet dude. Yo, there's a whole squad of people jogging on my left. Look, on my right, Massachusetts tags. All right, we're at Overbrook Ave. Wow, should I show you guys what Overbrook Ave looks like? It looks like we got St. Joseph's University in front of us. Vato, Vato Locals Forever, Holmes. Chile. The Free Library of Philadelphia on my right-hand side. 
No more locked doors. Simon. On my left hand side, we got Hagen Arena. On my right hand side, we got Air Force ROTC, St. Joseph's University. I think we're on St. Joseph's University's property. We got the fat tuna on my right. We got, oops, it's frozen yogurt on my right. We got Larry Steaks on my right. We got Landmark Americana Tap and Grill on my right. We got a speed bump under us. Above us, we got the sky. In the middle of us, we got the air. <laughs> Inside of us, we got the blood. <laughs> All right, St. Joseph's Bookstore on my right. Let me stop here. State law, yield for pedestrians, even the invisible ones. All right, so we got Starbucks coffee on my right-hand side. Now, if that would have said Starbucks ice cold water, I would have jumped out and said, cut! I gotta go get me a cup of high-quality H2O. But until then, we are now approaching City Ave. So this is the borderline, y'all. We got a Wendy's on my left. We got insomnia cookies in front of us. So if you have insomnia, man, it's windy as ever outside. You see that dude outside in the shorts? Yo, look how windy it is. He, uh, he about to blow away like a whole leaf. Yo, it's windy as ever outside, yo. All right, we got insomnia cookies in front of us. I have never eaten from there in my life, surprisingly, but I can't eat there anymore anyway, so. Um, we got the Imperial Agency Insurance Driver and Motor Vehicle Licensing in front of us, imperialagency.com. Visit www.imperialautotags.com. Why, wow, they got two websites, not one, but two? Imperialagency.com and imperialautotags.com. What's the difference? Like, why wouldn't you just drive all the traffic to one website rather than driving it to two websites? I don't know. That Insomnia Cookies location looks like it used to be a St. Joseph's University building because in front of it, that awning, that burgundy awning with the post holding it up, it has St. Joseph's University faded, meaning that they took off the lettering. Oh, on my left-hand side, closer to the 54th Street sign, 54th Street is also known as Old Lancaster Road. We got Restaurant Al Sham Middle Eastern Food. Whoa, yo, what's up with this wind? I feel like we in the movie Twister. Like, the vehicle's moving and everything. I'm expecting to see a cloud, f a, a cow just moo, flying by us. I mean, any day now, this light can turn green. I feel like I'm running out of objects to talk about. Oh, check out the crosswalks. Look at the crosswalks. The crosswalks, they're not only new brick, but they're sparkly bricks. Did they, like, drop, like, a sparkly, little sparkle, sparkle? Yeah, the sparkly bricks. We got dental solutions on my left. Sinwood, one hour cleaners on my left. We got 7-Eleven on my left. We gotta make this right. We got Hardy House. Oh, we can't, it's a one way. We're passing 53rd Street. The reason why I said we gotta make this left because I think 53rd Street was the border. We got Rashford Hall on my right hand side. On my left hand side, we have several businesses. We have fine wine and good spirits. We are making a right next to the Speedway gas station. A limited gas is selling for $2.55 per gallon. Hey, he beeped. He said, hey, 255. So now, what's gas in your town right now? What's up, drivers? We're passing Church Road. Talk to me. Let's make this right on Church Road because I just feel ambitious today to make a right-hand turn on Church Road. No, but seriously, we all need a little bit of little bit Iglesias in our life. You know what Iglesias means? You know what Iglesias means? Church. So we all need a little bit of church. They might as well call this Iglesia Road. <laughs> Yeah, y'all ended up learning a little bit of Espanol with Tuni Maguni. Tuni Spoonie. Tunage. Tune with the idge at the end. A-G-E. Tunage. First person who gave me that name was 450 Lex. Um, we just turned on 53rd and Church Road. It looks like we're in the back of what appears to be apartments or something of that nature. All right. Oh, we see the 7-Eleven in front of us. Where's Jay and Silent Bob? <laughs> Jay and Silent Bob. That was the movie. All right, we're on 53rd and City Ave. We got the Hardy House Apartments across the street. Hardy, Hardy. Wonder if they have any relations to Jeff Hardy. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. Of course, they ain't got no relations to Jeff Hardy. We got um, Bala Oral Healthcare on my left. I wasn't able to say that earlier. We got Mavis Discount Tire. We got Compu World Sales Service and Networking. All right, we're making this right-hand turn once again. We are currently traveling by some trees. We got baby tree, we got teenager tree. Now we're gonna hit the adult trees. Where are the grandparent trees? Now we got trees of all different sizes in this neighborhood. They have an overabundance of, of trees, but I guess trees are a good thing because they purify our air, right? Oh, we got a dog on my left-hand side. Roof, roof, where my dog's at? 
Alright, we're passing um, the 44 bus and the one bus. We just passed Rockford Street. I'm not gonna go up Rockford because it might shoot me to some random area. So I'm just gonna show you guys this, this road right here. It's a two lane road, extremely wide streets for all of you guys who say, are all of the streets in Philadelphia that tiny? Well, here goes your answer. A lot of them happen to be wide. We're on 52nd Street and Overbrook Ave. So if that's the case, we gotta make a right because we're on 52nd Street. 53rd Street is the border. But check it out. We're about to hit 53rd Street right about at this corner now. But you can see that, you know, you can see even the neighborhood going to that neighborhood is still pretty, not too shabby. All right, we're on 53rd Street. We just passed it. Boom. Past 53rd Street. We got John C. Anderson Multicultural Center or Cultural. I just added the multi. But Cultural Center on my right. The Free Library of Philadelphia on my right. We're at Overbrook Ave and 54th Street. I'm going to make this left on 54th Street. We got Ramsey Basketball Center on my right hand side. I'm sure that has something to do with St. Joseph's University. In 30 feet, please make a left hand turn. You are currently making a left hand turn. To your right hand side, you now see residential homes. To your left, to your left hand side, yo. You hear me, G? To your left hand side. Now you see some hood homes. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. Just messing around. Gotta, you know, make myself crack up when I do these tours. Somebody outside is doing some woodwork, you see? Hey, dude, you're now in the World Wide Web forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever, 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 ever. You better subscribe. 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 We're now approaching Woodbine. Woodbine. Woodbine, 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 Woodbine. I forgot to say Avenue. Avenue, 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 Avenue. You had a dude pulled up next to me <laughs> and that Lexus and he nodded his head. Like he looked straight in and nodded his head. He probably wondered like, who in the world is that man talking to? <laughs> Yo, chill dog. I see dead people. All right, we just made a left-hand turn. We have what looks to be like a children's party zone on my right. Wow, it looks like a fake Chuck E. Cheese and DZ Discovery Zone all smushed into one. Yo, look at this teeny weeny cute house right here. Is that a house? Is that an outhouse? Is that, I think, I think that's, that's like an extension of a house. Cause that thing looks so teeny weeny and cute. Check it out, residential home. So we got 53rd Street in front of us, which is a one way. So we're still in the zone that we are supposed to be in. I'm gonna make this left here though. Matter of fact, I should go up one block and make a right and then come back, come back around. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go up one block and then I'm just gonna come back around. All right, we're on 52nd Street on Woodbine Ave. I'm gonna make this right on 52nd Street. We're on Dolphin Street. Yeah, boy, Dolphin, the 5100 block of West Dolphin. Wow. Look at that Impala next to us. What? That was neat. That was a two-door, like an 80s Impala. Now, you don't see those too often at all. Like, those things are damn near obsolete in, in, in Philadelphia. The, the Impalas that I'm used to seeing is like the nice 60s, like the 62, 63, 61, 64. 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. You know what I mean? Now let's make this right on Winfield Ave once more. But we're just on a different section of Winfield Ave. Because now we got Dr. Michael Melbourne Cardiology on my right, the Fairview Arms, and the Fairview Arm Apartments on my right. And we never made this left. So now, remember, we went straight. We didn't make the left because I couldn't read 11 a.m. Now we're going straight. We have Real Estate Group LLC on my left. We got Sickle Cell Disease Association of America on my left. So some of these are offices on my right. We got Woodbine Academy Elementary School. What? That looks like a home. 
I'm not sending my kid to, to that home and that's called an elementary school. We got Pin Business Center on my left, not Pen, Pin, P-I-N-N, -N, Business Center on my left. And then we got Pin Memorial Baptist Church on my left. The Winfield Pal entrance, Pal. P-A-L, what does PAL mean? Is it Police Athletic League, right, 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 right? Am I right or am I wrong? Let's make this left right here on 54, 54 Street. Make this left on 54, 54. I'm trying to go to the store. We got New York tags on my right. New New York, New York, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm, Cause I'm thinking about copping a 40, a 40. I see a little shorty, little shorty, you know, you know what I'm saying, son? We got the 40 bus on my right and the 52 bus. We got Penn Memorial Baptist Church on my left-hand side. Let's make this right-hand turn. We were on Woodcrest Ave. We are currently making a right-hand turn on I Don't Know Avenue. I Don't Know Avenue. No, no, really, I don't, I don't know what avenue this is because it really didn't have a sign, so I gotta wait till we get to the corner of the block. But it's cool to just to make up a, like a whole name, like I Don't Know Avenue. I Don't Know. I don't know, Benvenuto, Grazioso, Italiano. No. <laughs> Yo, Mari, M A R I, Mary, or Mari, or however you say your name. I have a viewer who's from Italy and she doesn't know much English, but I wish I knew Italian. You should teach me something, yo. All right. Check it out, check it out, check it out now. Residential neighborhood. All right, we were on Woodcrest, Woodcrest Ave, 56 and Woodcrest Ave. I'm gonna keep on going straight. I'm gonna cross over 56th Street. We got a young brother um, about to unlock his Nissan Altima. And probably pull something out of it. I don't know, but he but but he went to the trunk. He he went to the trunk. Look how tall these trees are. These trees are the grandparent trees. These trees have probably been here since the 20s, the 30s because they are extremely, extremely huge. They're probably 80 to 90 year old trees. What do you think? All right, on my left-hand side, we got lawns. On my right-hand side, we got lawns. Some of the lawns have brick uh, framework. I, you know, They're enclosed by brick. Some of the lawns are enclosed by fence. Some of the lawns are enclosed by cinder blocks. Some of the lawns are enclosed by stonework. No parking on the street. Street work scheduled for violators will be towed. They have street work scheduled for September the 23rd, 2020. September the 23rd, 2020? Aren't we like in almost the end of January 2021? So that thing been up there for like six months. Let me see. September, October, November, December, January. In five months. All right. I had to sit here and make sure I got my months right. Because then y'all bust on me. Y'all be like, he don't know his months. This dude shooting the video and he doesn't know his mouse. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Cause that's how it was. <laughs> when I flip flopped, when my dyslexic stuttering mind. Yo, we got a house for sale on my left hand side. Manny Adams for sale. Yeah, my mind be swapping out information sometimes. And since I stutter, I got an OCD where usually when I used to record videos and I stuttered, I would stop. I don't care how far I was in the video, I would stop and try to like cut it out or fix my stuttering dude was taking a photo did you take a photo of me man did you take a photo of me i think he took a photo no he took a photo he, and, and and i was probably making an ugly face too yo let's go through this back driveway right here just to see what the driveway the driveway is behind woodcrest ave so this driveway we're about to enter ladies and gentlemen belongs to the residents of the 5800 block of woodcrest avenue we are currently entering a driveway we are currently driving up a driveway we are currently passing some leaves in a driveway no <laughs> um, we got some teeny weeny baby cute garages on my right I feel like I've been back here before seriously have because I remember these garages on my right either I don't know if rich lives around here no I don't think rich lives around here does he I don't know wouldn't put it past him but I don't know if it was rich or I don't know if it was some scrap metal. Back in the day, I used to do pickups. I feel like I've been through this very alley. But check it out. On my left, they're the back of their houses. They don't have garages, I guess. Because I think, no, I think they, they, they do. I think these garages on my right belong to the people on my left. 
Because behind these garages on my right is a fence straight across the board, which means they don't belong to the people on the opposite side. Those houses on the opposite side are huge. These houses on my left remind me of traditional row home houses, right? Look it. Don't it? Don't, don't it remind you of like tra tra traditional row home houses, like from the hood? But this is the back side of their houses on Woodcrest, so just make note. So they all get their own little... I guess some people made them garages, some people made them like storage units. I guess the people who made them storage units didn't have a car or don't care about parking their car in a garage. They felt it was more useful to make it like an extra room. Look at storage. Yo, this one right here is probably a house because they got two windows, they got a, a, a storm door, and they got a little address. It says Broma 5867. Wow, it got shades and everything. So that's probably like, like an extended living space. You know, like a you know room for like a, for like a teenager, for like a kid. Like a family member, you know, somebody who comes to the area, don't have a room to stay in, they don't want them to stay in their house. They go, You go sleep in the back. <laughs> Look at somebody threw away a bunch of furniture here. Oh, we got trash on my right. Yeah. If, oh, they're doing some rehabilitation to this house on my left. I think that's what, it, yeah, warning the home has been winterized. Do not turn water heater on without first refilling. Do not turn electricity on, water heater, or or what? Well equipment. Well equipment? They got well stuff down here? Hmm, interesting. Well, we just learned something new today, ladies and gentlemen. Right, I'm going to make this left on 59th Street. 59th Street. Woodcrest Ave. We got a school on my right. Oh, yeah, we already saw that school, right? Oh, we can't go left because it's a one way. Remember we drove by this this school? Yeah, we drove by that school. We just passed a little business that said 17 with life. Water ice, cookies, candies, hot dogs, pretzels. 17 with life. What the name of a business? 17 with life. Does it mean somebody in their family is serving 17? Like they're 17 years old serving life? Does it mean somebody's 17 years old and they bring in life to the community? Does it mean, you know, yo, that 17 with life could be interpreted in so many different ways. You hear me? I said interpreted, interp, like a chirp cell phone. Remember them boost next tells? Chirp, chirp. Where, where you at? Chirp, chirp. Where you at? And then you had to give somebody a whole complicated cell phone. Like my number is 163 star 80 star 7899 star 1527 54 55 6, 7, 8, star 1123. Like, come on, bro. Like, can I get like a simple number? <laughs> No, nah, but I, I used to have a couple of Nextels. I'm about to low-key about to bring back Nextels. What's up? Let's start a committee to bring back Nextels. So everybody who on Toons Network, we all chirping. Where where you at? Where you at? What's up, Manuel? You tuning in from the southern tip most part of Texas when it be like 88 degrees every time you be tuning in? Yo, everybody in America be hating on you, bro, because we in the freezing cold. So not everybody in America. But I'm sure everybody in the cold area is like, dang it, show off. It's so cold over here. <laughs> We're on Upland Way. Look at the city of Philadelphia. There's a beautiful skyline at the tip top of the picture. I'm going to go really slow so y'all can like see this picture right here. See this picture? Screen Screenshot that and like zoom it in. See? You can see the skyline. Beautiful view. On my left-hand side, we got 59th Mini Market. We're on Lebanon Ave. Just turned off of 59th Street. We're passing Melvin Street. We got another one of them crazy triangle top. You see right there? It's like a giant triangle, triangular object. Wow. You see it on top? Wow. Talking about architecture. On my left, the perfect sleepover experience. Just bring Jamie's. Hmm. Wonder what that's about. Hogbart. We're on Hogbart in Lebanon. I'm going to make this left on Hogbart. Doesn't it remind you of like Hog Hogwarts or is it Hobart? And I'm like, dude, I hate the way you pronunciate the names. <laughs> so I'm like, yo, we got a house for sale on my left. Somebody said, I love you, Tune, but the way you pronounce the names, we have to be rolling, I guess. I don't know. I suck, guys. I'm sorry. It's okay to admit when you suck, but then it could just all be a clever strategy so that you guys can invest the energy to comment below and say, dude. You suck. Let me let me see. Let me see if I can do some reverse psychology up here. You ready? You ready? You ready? Let's see how well this reverse psychology could work. Let's see. 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 We're on Hobat Street. On Hobat. Anybody? Hobat. It's Hobart. 
or is Habar? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, Wanamaker, remember, remember? We're on Wanamaker Street. We're on Wanamaker and Mayvern. We're on Wanamaker and Mayvern. They're like, no way, Jose. We just passed Wanamaker Wana and Malvern Street. We are currently on 58 Street. <laughs> Uh, five eight, five eight. No, we're on 58th Street. Let's make this right. We have this medical professional going to her Nissan Rogue, entering her Nissan Rogue, about to go rogue without the robe. Oh no! Oh, this car on my left got flat tires. Is it all around it? Did, did they pop his, his tires? No, just the two on the street. Oh, I'm, I'm about to say, did, did they shank his, his tires? Then they go. Us, 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 us. We're on 58th and Lebanon Ave. I'm just gonna drive up some mo, some mo, some mo, some mo, some mo, some mo, some mo. All right, all right, let me, let me, let me tone it down for the last five minutes. We are currently driving up 57th Street. On my left hand side, we are passing Arlington Street. On my right hand side, we have transportation, van, and bus. Brotherly love mission. We are currently behind the G Septibus. That's where all the G's ride at. You gotta be a G to ride the, no. Nah. <laughs> I said I was gonna tone it down. Shut up, Tune. All right, so we are currently passing Wanamaker Street. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn on Upland Way. We are currently making a left-hand turn on Upland Way. I'm going to make another left hand turn on Dun 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 Burks Street. Oh, we on Burks. We just passed the Winfield, uh, I believe, uh, apartments. Something over there said Winfield Apartments. I don't know, maybe it was like a private apartment or something. These look like some like 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 some Tacony homes, like some Port Richmond Tacony stuff. Well, Aramingo and Port Richmond got homes that look like this kind of, but without the lawns though. So I would say this is more like some Tacony style homes, like in the Northeast, like around um, Tyson, around Cotman and all that stuff. Stuffuses. All right, we're on 56 in Burks. We're gonna continue traveling up. 56th Street in Burks. Burks is also known as Nelson's Williams Way or Nelson William Way without the S. Tons of big trees. Big trees, big trees on my left, big trees on my right. But those trees break up the sidewalks. Like if you guys looked at the sidewalks where all those big trees are at, the sidewalks are damaged badly. They're like, they're raised. Like what the tree does is the root grows. I think I explained this on several dozen tours. But wow, some of them got bad sidewalks. Yeah, it breaks up the sidewalk and looks crappy. It's also a hazard because somebody could trip on it and try to sue you. All right, um, 54th Street. We're going to make a right on 54th Street. We got Burke Street right there. And we got some type of work being done here on Euclid Street. Euclid. 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 They say, yo, tune, but the E is silent. But what if the U is silent? What if it's Euclid? You know? Morse Street. We're going to make this left on Morse Street. We got 54th Food Market on my right hand side. See, the thing that you guys are forgetting is that these streets don't really have, you know, pronunciation boards right under them so you can know how they're said. So you got to make your best judgment. We got George's Lane. I'm going to make this right on George's Lane. Look at the houses in front of us. Two-story homes. They have... Porches and all that cool stuff. Look at this left right here on Morse Street. Oh, snap. We just drove over somebody's fender. We got some graffiti on my left. I mean, not really graffiti. Oh, yes, we do. We got some right here. It said BLM, but I I, I wasn't going to speak too soon. This tag says wet. W-E-T. Wet. Yeah, but it looks like a new writer because the throw up was kind of weak and the tag was kind of weak. Like, no disrespect, wet. Like, if you ever see this dude, you know, you will one day, I promise you, take over the world with your tags. Cause that is most graffiti artists, that's most graffiti artists' intention 
is to you know be skilled and sometimes if you I don't want to demotivate wet you know what I mean but yeah they graffitied all over that building alrighty then alright ladies and gentlemen we are currently at Burke Street but this will be the conclusion of our short Winfield tour we did not cover every single area in the community I do apologize we only do one hour tour so I'm you know I do my best to try to capture as much as I can within an hour but as always stay tuned leisure I'm hoping that we touched some of your area today I'm hoping we've seen something that has some significant value to you that was the goal of this tour thank you very much ma'am I appreciate your kind words your steady and continuous support I'm very thankful to have viewers like leisure and all you other people shout out to India shout out to Lincoln shout out to Merck shout out to Manuel shout out to the squad that you know comes on a regular basis and if I didn't say your name I do apologize guys you know you know, I got short-term memory. I got a memory of a rock. I say, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but no, seriously, though, if I didn't say your name, that doesn't mean that I don't think of you. I, you know, do my best to read, you know, my majority of comments. And the best time to actually get my response is usually doing a live stream. Sometimes I'm not always involved in every live stream because I may be busy or doing something. But I do have, you know, uh, moderators, chat moderators like Mr. Lincoln and Miss Leisure. You guys are chat moderators and throughout, you know, the, the months, you know, like Mega Bro Squad and whatnot, I, w I will continue to appoint more trustworthy moderators. Um, but with that being said, this will conclude our tour. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate your support. Please hit that thumbs up button. Donating a thumbs up would go a really long way. I greatly appreciate it. Also, if you can, when this video ends, donate a comment. Tell me something about the neighborhood. Tell me your thoughts. Tell me anything that is like making a cash donation. A comment goes a very long way. And lastly, if you guys want, share this video with a friend, family member. You can share the link on a social network like Instagram, Facebook, etc., etc., on one of your social platforms. And or just copy this link. Share, copy the link, and text it to a friend or family member. All right, guys, this is Tune, and I'm tuning out.